Hi people, it's Nan here. I'm a founder of Embassy. Embassy is a blog where you can find all the stuff about sunscreen and skincare in Vietnamese. So make sure you visit my blog here and subscribe to my channel so you can see my video every week. What's up guys? I just cut my bang today. Look not bad, huh? That is one of my favorite things to do when I am my room. Today I'm going to review to you guys a popular sunscreen which is the Purito Comfy Water Sun Block SPF 50 PS Plus 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 It is actually quite uh, famous in Korea and uh, in uh, the US and in the UK I review another sunscreen of this brand is the Centella Unscented Sun SPF 50 also and guys I love that sunscreen so that's why I think maybe the physical one I need to try the laser version and um, to see the experience in my skin and to, to let you know what my thought about this sunscreen. Alright, so let's get into it. So this sunscreen is a mineral sunscreen, physical sunscreen, or you can call it inorganic sunscreen, whatever, it's the same. <laughs> um, so it, ha it has 60 mil and um, it has SPF 50, PS++++, plus 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 plus, so 4 plus, can give you a very good uh, sun protection. Essential oil free, no stickiness and light texture, 70% water based formulation. So you will experience a watery and gel based, um, like essence formulation. 100% physical and non nano sunblock. There was a myth that they say the nano absorbs to the bloodstream and will cause cancer, has like classified as a human carcinogen, but it is no scientific research about that so you do not worry about that it's not going to absorb in the blood so it's okay you can you can just use uh, the nano formulation it's okay and also the nano formulation will help the uh, the texture smoother and uh, minimal wise cast I think it's just for marketing purpose that people just scare about the nano formulation things and they come up with this but it's fine it's fine you can use that the UV filter in this contains zinc oxide and titanium dioxide you know how much I love zinc oxide because this is one of the best uh, filters and the surface filters and it does wonder for my skin it helps my pore breathable it has the anti-inflammatory properties for good sunscreen you can find zinc oxide in this and then other organic or inorganic UV filters that's fine as long as it has zinc oxide for the hydration ingredients we have the glycerin, uh, propylendica and niacinamide Niacinamide is good, it's good, and my skin loves niacinamide again. It has the two of my favorite ingredients, which is zinc oxide and niacinamide. It, it, it just goes wonderful, wonderful for my skin. It minimizes the size of my pores, it reduces the my sebum production, it treats the acne, it helps my skin reddening over time using it with a, uh, with, a, with a high concentration actually, but it's still good in the sunscreen, which has niacinamide. The soothing ingredients we would have is the um, I need to read from here because I couldn't remember, okay? Madacasoside, acetylcoside, madacasic acid, and acetic acid, and the adenosine. For those, um, except the adenosine beside madacasoside, acetic acid, so those are come from the centella acetic acid, the, the gota cola, the, the group gota cola. They do wonder in the antioxidants, soothing the skin, help with the anti inflammation, but they do not have the centella acetic acid. The centella and scented sun, they have uh, that ingredients but in this sunscreen they don't have uh, that ingredient so it's just other components of the centella acetic acid the adenosine adenosine uh, would heal in the wood and the acne scar but i would think um, for those ingredients they will do a uh, a good job at the antioxidants and um, soothing the skin more on the healing the wound and the scar because they have such a low concentration. Actually, this is the newest version. The previous one, they have some irritated essential oil and I think they listened to the customer feedback and then they took them out and yeah, this is the latest version. So I love the brand. They listen to their customers' feedback and uh, what they want and then decide a decide and formulate the product that they want and suit their skin. So I love the brand with that. And this is also cruelty free, which is good. Mm, vegan, I think it has no silicon, no dyes and uh, synthet synthetic fragrance and synthetic colorant. So let me test you a bit on the, uh, the tester. You can see the tester 
this is like an accent, okay? It's not watery uh, and it is not that thick also. It's very, very light like this. And here is another video that I will test uh, to you guys on my face so you can see that. And it's very fast absorbing. This sunscreen has a very light scent which I think is from the extract. The scent is so mild and it will go away after I clean it out. I have to say wow because I'm pretty surprised by how fast the texture absorbs to my skin. This sunscreen helps to redden my skin a bit and its texture doesn't travel with my hairlines. If you have a darker skin tone, don't worry, this will not give you a terrible white cast. It gives me a mild dewy look, which will keep my skin hydrated throughout the day. This is one of the mineral sunscreens with minimal white cast and effortless application. The method applying this sunscreen is you have to do the tapping motion. If you rub it in the circulation, it is not going to give you a even application. So you have to tap it like this uh, until it's absorbed and you will find it absorbs faster than ever. <laughs> but one more thing that when I apply this sunscreen on my face and after planning it out, I feel just a little bit tingling. Um, sensation on my face. It was just very minimal. It was very light. It's like it's like the time that I apply the clear soft air UV accent. It's like that. I also uh, experienced some sensation, like tingling sensation, but it's faded away very fast. But I did not see any problem with that. When I reapply this sunscreen, it just went well, very well with the first application and didn't leave much white cast. So yeah, I'm so happy with that. And again, with the tapping motion, you cannot rub in like this. If you do do that. Applying in that way, let me know how it works in your skin. Okay, I have the oily skin. At the end of the day, I did not uh, experience much sebums and oil excessively, um, so it's actually controlled my sebum. I think it's perfectly for oily and combination skin, uh, more on the oily side. Uh, if you have dry skin, make sure that you moisturize properly before applying this because sometimes it can leave you some dryness. And it's also sometimes when it's absorbed too fast that you cannot uh, blend it uh, out evenly <laughs> as you expected it. It's totally fine for acne prone skin and for sensitive skin. This sunscreen is acceptable for pregnant women and the children at least 6 months old. This sunscreen has no water resistance. Um, so after I apply it in the back of my hand to test it and I washed it out to test the uh, application, it's not actually stick uh, to the skin, it's kind of like wash off. If you are doing outside activities, don't want to apply this because it will not give you a perfect protection under the sun when you are sweating because it's e easily washed off. It's perfectly fine uh, for staying in the office, staying at home and normal day. I don't apply makeup up like a cushion foundation or powder mm, so I don't really know if the sunscreen goes well with those makeup after that uh, but I did some research and um, I read a review from uh, Michelle lab Muffin Beauty Science and she said that she applied the makeup after the sunscreen it just worked pretty well um, to the makeup and it does not give any problem or any greasiness but I'm not 100% sure so you need to experience on your own skin and you will see uh, if it works under the makeup. I actually encourage you guys to check this out because it's pretty a uh, interesting sunscreen. It has some fan titanium downside in this but it's still not leave much white cast and it's actually a surprise for me and the texture is pretty lightweight. It's, this sunscreen is like a new generation or it's like a innovation of the mineral sunscreen. So yeah, if you can, you can check it out if you are a love mineral sunscreen. Maybe this is the one for you. That's all the stuff that I want to share with you guys today. I hope the information is useful to you guys. If you like it, you can share it because sharing is caring. So I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you guys have a healthy and glowy skin. Love ya!